A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a devastating incident that has left the community in mourning, a car crashed into Auburn South Primary School in Hawthorne East, Melbourne, resulting in the death of an 11-year-old boy and serious injuries to four other children. The accident occurred shortly after 2.30 p.m. local time on Tuesday, October 29, 2024, when a 40-year-old woman, who had just picked up a child from the school, made a U-turn and veered off the road, crashing through a fence and colliding with an outdoor table where five children were seated. Emergency services rushed to the scene, and the critically injured boy was transported to the hospital, where he sadly succumbed to his injuries. Two 11-year-old girls, a 10-year-old girl, and a 10-year-old boy were also taken to the hospital with serious injuries. As of Tuesday evening, two of the injured children were reported to be in serious but stable condition. The driver, who remains in police custody, was arrested at the scene. Early reports suggest she may have suffered a medical episode prior to the crash, but authorities have stated it is too early to determine if this played a role in the tragic event. Detective Inspector Craig McAvoy from the Major Collision Investigation Unit described the scene as confronting and emphasized the difficulty of such incidents, particularly when children are involved. Aerial footage from the scene revealed a white four-wheel drive with visible damage, and witnesses described the aftermath as chaotic, with horrified students and parents reacting to the shocking event. Local residents noted that Burgess Street, where the crash occurred, is typically quiet, although some parents have been known to perform U-turns during school pickup times. The police have cordoned off the area and are conducting a thorough investigation, which could take weeks or even months to conclude. Victorian Education Minister Ben Carroll expressed his condolences and stated that the Department of Education is prepared to provide support to the affected families. Premier Jacinta Allen and opposition leader John Pesuto have also expressed their sorrow over the tragedy, with Pesuto describing it as devastating. Community members are rallying together to support one another during this difficult time, as the school community grapples with the loss and the injuries sustained by their children. Authorities are urging anyone with information or footage of the incident to come forward to assist in the investigation. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.